Hi, this is Colleen from Keeping the Peace Defensive Handgun Training for Women, and welcome back to my channel today, starting a new series called What Gun Should I Buy? This is the most frequent question that I get from tons of people, and hopefully you've already seen the introduction to this series, asking people to participate by submitting 30-second clips telling who they are, what gun they carry, and how they carry it. Um, I'm just going to give a very brief instructional video today just telling you seven things I think you should consider when you're buying a handgun and these are things that I would tell anybody that asks me and the entire point of this series is there's not one gun that's perfect for every person. It's very individual and you'll see that as we start going through the things you should consider. You may have already seen my two-year-old video called seven things a woman should consider when purchasing a handgun. It's going to be the same principles in this video. First one is, what's the purpose? What do you intend to use the gun for? Strictly for self-defense, or is it going to be also for target shooting? Is it going to be in your car or on your person? Or is it going to be in your bedside table? Those types of things. The second one is hand fit. Does it fit your hand properly? Can you get a good trigger finger placement without cocking your hand to the side? Um, have you considered the distance between the Y of your hand here, the webbing, and your trigger finger because there needs to be the same distance between the um, tang of your gun and the face of your trigger. So those are things to look at. The size and the weight. Is it manageable for you, for your person? Is it manageable if you're going to carry it on your belt line without giving you a backache? Um, if it's going to be on the ankle, is it manageable or is it too heavy and it's going to hurt your ankle bone? It just depends on where you're going to carry it and how you're going to use it. It's going to affect the size and the weight that you choose. Okay. Um, Keep in mind, the bigger the handgun is, generally the easier it is to shoot. A lot of people think that's very counterintuitive. They think, well, it's a little peewee gun, it should be easier. That's not the truth. That's usually the opposite way around. A little bit of weight in your gun helps to control the recoil. However, if you're going to carry the gun, you're probably going to have to compromise on the weight, accepting that it's going to be a little more difficult to shoot. Okay? Um, the fourth one is the caliber in conjunction with capacity and what choices do you have for ammunition in that caliber. That's the fourth thing. The fifth one is, what are your personal physical challenges? For instance, do you have carpal tunnel syndrome? Or do you have cubital tunnel like I do? Or tendonitis that recurs? Or do you have um, maybe a torn shoulder or something wrong with your neck? Those things could affect what type gun you choose. Um, six is aesthetics. What do you think looks pretty, if that matters to you? Most people that conceal a gun think it doesn't really matter if it's that pretty. Maybe you're going to open carry, or maybe you just want to conceal a pretty gun. So that's completely personal. And what I find attractive might not be attractive to you. The last one is budget. How much money do you have to spend? That's going to make a big difference in what you purchase. If you have a $500 budget, you're not going to buy a 1911. Okay? Um, so it depends on how much money you have to spend. A lot of people uh, want to spend $200 and get a good defense weapon. It's not going to happen unless you're finding it just maybe used and the person doesn't know what they have. Plan to invest a decent amount of money in your own personal defense. It's the best investment that you'll make. Okay? So those are the seven things to consider when purchasing your handgun. And now we're going to dive into the part of the series that shows you specific people telling you what they carry and how they carry it. And if you would like to participate in the series, please submit your 30 second clip to my email address, keepingthepeace at gmail.com. Include your name, what you carry, and how you carry it, and I'd be happy to put you in the series. Here we go.